Have you ever watched a YouTube video lecture and wondered, damn, I wish I could get slides from this video? Instead of painfully taking screenshots of the video, we learn how to build an application using OpenCV and Python. Hey there, welcome to Learn OpenCV. Today we will extract the frames of slide lectures using Nave frame differencing method and OpenCV's background subtraction. We'll look into the workflow of creating the application and run the code locally. Let's get started. Frame differencing calculates the difference between two consecutive frames, whereas background subtraction separates the foreground objects from the background. Let's check out the flow control diagram of both these methods. To extract the images using frame differencing, we start by declaring a few variables. The threshold of the frame difference and capture flag, initially set to false. Then we capture the first video frame and set it as the previous frame and convert it to grayscale. This algorithm will always save the first frame. Now get the next frame. If we are at the end of the video, the application will stop. It is always necessary to determine the stop condition while building the algorithm. Otherwise, read the frame and convert it to grayscale. Next, we need to compute the frame difference and apply thresholding. So all the values are either 0 or 255 and apply dilation before computing the percentage of white pixels in the morphed image. During experimentation, we realized applying dilation significantly improves the results and helps capture the motion better. Now if this difference is greater than the threshold, set capture equal to true and continue to the next frame until a set number of frames are elapsed. This is helpful when the presentation has animations between slides. While the captured flag is true, skip the frame. We found that 85 gives us a good result. Save the video frame after skipping 85 frames, set the capture flag to false and set the previous frame variable to the current video frame and move on to the next frame. This will continue to loop until we reach our stop condition, which is the end of the video. Alternatively, you can also try out OpenCV's background subtraction. Check out our blog post on learnopencv.com to learn more about this method. If you're new to OpenCV, you should also consider signing up for OpenCV University's free OpenCV Bootcamp. You'll find all the links in the description box. The background subtraction method starts by declaring the min and the max thresholds of the mask that handles the motion in the video. It also sets the capture flag to false and initializes the background subtraction class, which is either KNN or GMG. Then we get the video frame. If this was the last frame, the application stops. Otherwise, we read the frame and apply background subtraction model to it. This separates the foreground and outputs its mask. Next, calculate the percentage of non-zero pixels in the mask. If the percentage is less than the max threshold and the capture flag is set to false, set this capture flag to true and save the video frame and continue to the next frame. The less than max threshold condition implies that the motion has subsided. Otherwise, if the percentage is greater than the minimum threshold and capture is true, we will set capture to false and continue to read the next frame. This condition is useful till the motion decreases. Otherwise, we move on to the next video frame. This will continue to loop until we reach our stop condition, which is the end of the video. Now let's download and run the code. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. First, install the requirements. Now run the Python script video to slides.py. The V flag inputs the part to the video file. O flag inputs the part to the output directory. Type takes input of frame diff, gmg or knn, where the default is gmg, and convert to PDF does as it says. Hit enter and wait for the statistics to load. The application also includes a few built in utility functions, such as converting the saved frames to PDF and the ability to remove duplicates. So that's how you build a video to PDF application. If you like this video, why don't you check out our top five computer vision projects using OpenCV or check out the playlist practical applications of computer vision. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.